Hey, do you want to learn how to enable 60 FPS in Insta360 Link 2 on 100p resolution? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. So first, you need to open up Insta360 Link software, like I've done here. And you can see I've got this 100p 60 frames per second. You most probably would be seeing 30 frames in 100p. So what you need to do is on the right here, go to more. Then under it, you're going to find compatibility settings. Click on this portrait resolution and high frame rate. Make sure this is checked. It currently says that it will cause the device to restart. Don't worry about it. Just press on confirm. Once done, because I've got this unchecked now, you can see on the bottom left, I've got Wonder Ager B 30 frames per second. All right. And I cannot change the 16 by 9 to 9 by 16, the portrait mode. So I need to press here on compatibility settings and then press on confirm. And there you go. With that portrait resolution and high frame rate set, I will be able to select on the left hand side, the bottom left, the ratio from 16 by 9 to 9 by 16. So I can make it portrait mode like this. For this to work, you need to rotate your webcam. It should not be possible. Currently, it's sitting on the top of my screen. So I need a tripod that can tilt the webcam 90 degrees. All right, in resolution, you can see I've got the 60 frames. You can probably see my face is a little blurry. If I switch to 50 frames per second, I'm not sure why, but the, the face is more clear in 50 frames per second compared to 60 frames my face starts getting blurry at 60 frames per second. But if you switch from 50 to 60, it kind of fixed that haziness. And this camera does not support 4K 60 FPS. So if you switch to 4K here, it's going to be 30 frames, not 60 frames per second. Also, if you do not see 60 FPS here on the bottom left, if you click on it and you see just 30 FPS, even after enabling the portrait mode, what you have to do also check is that you probably have enabled Insta360 virtual camera. So you need to press on this on the top right, this part, and disable the virtual camera from here. Let's go over here on the bottom left, and now you'll see 50 and 60 FPS here. So you just need to press on 60 FPS, and that's it. We have now enabled 60 FPS. Also, make sure to go into settings and in About Us, make sure that you have got the latest version here which will also help you with the performance boost. So yeah, that's it. That's how to enable high frame rate, 60 frames per second on 100p on your Insta360 Link 2. I hope this video helped solve a problem. If it did, let me know with a like and comment. And on the right hand side, you can find more Insta360 Link 2 related guides and fixes on how to set it up on OBS, enable AI tracking, desk view, and a lot more. So check it out. See you there. Bye for now.